Valentine's Day means love is in the air, except when it isn't, right? One in four people hide infidelity from their partner, but we're not talking about the kind of cheating that probably first comes to mind. What we are talking about today is called financial infidelity, where you hide debt and spending from your partner. Consumer reporter Bill McGinty joins us now with more on this. Are you trying to be a downer today, Bill? <laughs> Yeah, Sarah, you know, you probably figured that this was going to be a really nice, soft Valentine's Day story. And it is if you look at it the right way. But what we're talking about, again, is debt and how it can absolutely kill a relationship if it's hidden. Love is rosy and warm, a real feel-good emotion that can be crushed by debt. So if you're not having money conversations before the pandemic, it's even more important that you're having them now. David Almonte is a CPA and often speaks about financial literacy and the role that it plays in relationships. It's been said opposites attract, but pairing up a spender and a saver, that can be tough long term as two in five relationships end over money trouble. But I grew up with a 24 hour rule. So, you know, you put something in a cart, you're going to make a big decision at work. Someone sends you a nasty email or something like that. Draft a response, leave it there, save it as a draft, tuck it away in a folder, save it in your cart if it's an item you're trying to buy, and save it for 24 hours. And this debt can be overwhelming and an easy fire starter for a fight. Experts recommend having a plan, having a budget, and then sticking to it. Remember, you're supposed to be in it together. This is not a problem that's going to go away overnight. Sarah Rathner is a credit card expert with Nerd Wallet. Keep in mind how wonderful it will feel to not have this burden on your back anymore and to not have it potentially ruining your relationships anymore. It really is something that is a worthwhile goal. If you're in a relationship, you know, arguments sometimes just happen. But overspending into more debt doesn't have to. All right, Sarah, here's something to think about. You know, we're in the middle of a pandemic. A lot of places aren't open for full, full service. So maybe skipping Valentine's Day this year, maybe that's a good option for a lot of couples just to save a little bit of money. Well, listen to this. A recent survey, a Lending Tree survey says 40% of uh, couples out there this year will skip it this year just to save money. No flowers, no dinner, none of that stuff. But the same survey says, tread lightly. One in seven admit they would not be happy if their partner ignored Valentine's Day. Yes. I love my partner, I think that one but he seven thinks is talking Valentine's about men. Day is very commercialized. <laughs> so we are just hanging out as a family on Valentine's Day. Bill, what a great story, though. Well, I'm sure Chris isn't the I'm, I'm sure Chris isn't the only one that thinks like that, though. Yeah, you. I'll talk to Joni later, <laughs> Bill. Thank you. <laughs>